so in this particular presentation i will be describing one of my oldest method known as the beta decoupling method so in the year of 2005 this particular method i have brought into the public domain and many traders from that day to till now are getting benefited out of that and you will get lot of videos in my website as well as in the youtube channel so i will request you please go through this particular video till the end if you are really interested in this particular method if really if you want to understand this method view this video till the end and if you are a visitor of smartfinancein.com you will be getting lot of lot of links here and our our innovations in this particular segment you will get it what is a decoupling method and pair trade using the beta decoupling pair trade using the golden ratio all these things two to three methods you will be getting and these pair trade methods are the sole innovation of smart finance so detail about all the formulas and other things if you just go through this ninth video you will get to know and i will just show you some back testing report and what it has given so i have taken a back testing report from the march month march 2018 to november 2018 so in fact from april to november and i have just noted down every month how much profit and loss this has been given with a pair of nifty and bank nifty and it has given me without any option hedging this also i will make it very clear without any option hedging it has given this particular profit with option hedging it could have been better and it could have given more than lakh profit also so to implement this particular strategy how much margin is required how much fund is required at each interval of time that i will be discussing what we did here we are just doing very simple task we are taking the prices of the i am going to trade in the month of april i am just taking the march month data and in this march month data what about the daily price changes given by the nifty and bank nifty i am just plotting it i am calculating their beta and i am calculating the beta decoupling so what is this beta many of you will be knowing that there will be a high beta stock there will be a low beta stock then what is this beta actually is so when we talk about a high beta stock that means with respect to index it will provide you higher return when we talk about a low beta stock that means with respect to the index it will be providing you the lower return so that is the low beta and high beta definition is so beta actually represents the sensitivity of one counter along with the other so when i say beta of the nifty and bank nifty is 0.68 that means each 1% change in the nifty will bring 0.68 percentage of change in the bank nifty so this is what the beta represents and this beta is being viewed by many fund analysts many mutual fund houses to determine which stock they need to add into their portfolio so here beta says that every 1% in nifty movement i can get 0.68% movement in the bank nifty so if it is a positive 1% movement i will get positive 0.16 0.618 0.68 if it is a negative moment i will get negative 0.68 however this particular rule of beta doesn't followed by the index on day to day basis though it is the beta but it is not mandatory rule that the index must follow it so if index is not following that or bank nifty is moving slightly excess or less that results your decoupling so we have expected 
times of the nifty movement nifty has moved 0.95 so 0.68 times 0.68 into 0.95 we have expected that it should move 0.95 into 0.68 times however it has moved 0.69 so there is a decoupling so there is a decoupling happened here so that particular decoupling we have plotted it here so we have taken the decoupling so that particular decoupling has created some amount of some amount of excess value or the low value so by this process we have calculated the decouplings and net decoupling net basis how much decoupling we are getting once that decoupling is recorded then we need to take an action so here one simple rule is there so two counters we are taking for comparisons so whenever that decoupling is and these two counters are classified as independent and dependent and when this particular decoupling used to be positive used to be positive will be buying the dependent and selling the independent sorry so when this is positive then we will be buying the independent so the first counter is independent this is dependent so we will be buying the independent and selling the dependent so selling the dependent so this process will be following for our trade for our pair trade so by this process i have just taken and i have not hedged the trade and i have just made that april month we have ended in this profit may june july august september october november net it comes to 55530 and on similar trade also i have initiated today based on this particular decoupling method i am selling bank nifty 60 quantity i am buying nifty 2 quantity why i am just doing this because this is 60 quantity value so 60 quantity value and the value of 150 150 quantity the contract value is coming almost equal so here some 15000 and odd sorry 15 lakhs and odd here to also 15 lakhs and odd and i am hedging it with the 26000 since i am selling here i am hedging it with 26500 call and since i am buying here i am just 10700 put also i am hedging equal quantity so let us work in and see how much and it has as per the margin you are seeing here 64 and 93 so this must the total margin you require and same time also we require some fund to pay because we are buying the options so near to 55000 of fund is required to pay for the options and 26000 26656 multiplied with 60 it comes to 15 99000 and 10000 826 multiplied with 150 it comes to 16 lakhs 23000 so so contract value is only differing by 23 to 24000 we'll be holding this trade and we'll be seeing that once this beta decoupling is normalized how much we are going to get so why this trade is being initiated so the november months net beta decoupling was 0.2 2.38 for that reason only we have initiated this particular strategy so let us see how this particular strategy span out after a 4 to 5 days period or after a 5 to 10 days period and based on that we need to take a call 